My name is Gina K. Maddox. I am a life resident of Akron, Ohio, and I am on the board for the Summit County Historical Society, and we're here today uh, talking with the author Rodney Harris about his book, Echoes. Uh, and I just want to say that the reporter, uh, we appreciate your coverage, we appreciate your continuity in this community, covering our city and covering the things that are relevant to our community. Thank you so much, reporter. The black community's struggle for emancipation, recognition, and empowerment has been marked by remarkable courage, resilience, and sacrifice. The voices of civil rights leaders, though silenced by time, continue reverberating through the pages of history. Their words still echo in our collective consciousness. Echoes from the past. AI conversations with deceased civil rights leaders and black icons on the state of the black community. Order Echoes from the Past on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble. And get the audiobook and t-shirts on bellstreetpublishing.com now. So I said, you know what? I've always had questions. You know, let me just ask the questions that I have. So when you see the bowl, that's the questions that I came up with to ask. You know, and it was questions like, I have uh, O.W. Gurley, which is the founding member of Black Wall Street. And one of the questions that I have for him was, why did y'all not have a police force? You know, it was obvious questions. And, and the other thing I want to say, I wanted the book to be short. I wanted it to be simple because I want people from the sixth grade up to read it and understand it. You know? So the simple question when I saw what happened to Black Wall Street was, y'all had everything else, how come y'all didn't have a police uh, force? And Sometimes I make the mistake of saying, and hopefully when you read the book, you'll say this to, your, to yourself. I make the mistake of saying, well, he said, you know, because the book was so on point to their, to their character, you know? And what he basically said was, they felt that if people could see their achievements, then they would be able to work together. And that's why they didn't have a police force. They never expected what would what happened was going to happen. Um, we are located on the corner of Copley and Diagonal, and most Akronites have driven past this facility for years and never stopped in. I am the chairperson for the John Brown Institute. John Brown was an abolitionist, a white man, and we, it is important to acknowledge we did not free ourselves. He was in the trenches and he was fighting for us. Please come visit the John Brown House and learn about our history as it impacted Akron, Ohio, right here. The Reporter newspaper serving Akron, Ohio and surrounding communities for over 50 years. Understanding the voices of our unique experiences and realities is paramount to community development. With the Reporter Newspaper and the ReporterNewspaperOnline.com, it is our mission to tell our stories to our communities in the way we understand. With that being said, this is the time to get your yearly subscription delivered to your door at an affordable rate. To get your subscription, please call them at 330-535-7061. The Reporter Newspaper, serving our community for over 50 years.